Three poems by Anne Bradstreet, pages 230 and 231. These are the grandchildren poems. In memory of my dear grandchild Elizabeth Bradstreet, who deceased August 1665, being a year and a half old. Farewell, dear babe, my heart's too much content. Farewell, sweet babe, the pleasure of mine eye. Farewell, fair flower, that for a space was lent, then ta'en away unto eternity. Blessed babe, why should I once bewail thy fate, or sigh thy days so soon were terminate? Sith thou art settled in an everlasting state. By nature trees do rot when they are grown, and plums and apples thoroughly ripe do fall, and corn and grass are in their season mown and time brings down what is both strong and tall. But plants new set to be eradicate, and buds new blown to have so short a date, is by his hand alone that guides nature and fate. In memory of my dear grandchild, Anne Bradstreet, who deceased June 20, 1669, being three years and seven months old. With troubled heart and trembling hand I write, The heavens have changed to sorrow my delight. How oft with disappointment have I met When I on fading things my hope have set. Experience might for this have made me wise To value things according to their price. Was ever stable joy yet found below Or perfect bliss without mixture of woe? I knew she was but as a withering flower that's here today, perhaps gone in an hour, like as a bubble or the brittle glass, or like a shadow turning as it was. More fool than I to look on that was lent as if mine own, when thus impermanent. Farewell, dear child, thou ne'er shall come to me but yet a while, and I shall go to thee. Meantime, my throbbing heart's cheered up with this, thou with thy Savior art in endless bliss. On my dear grandchild, Simon Bradstreet, who died on 16 November, 1669, being but a month and one day old. No sooner came, but gone, and fallen asleep. Acquaintance short, yet parting caused us weep. Three flowers, too scarcely blown, the last of the bud, cropped by the Almighty's hand, yet he is good. With dreadful awe before him, let's be mute. Such was his will, but why, let's not dispute. With humble hearts and mouths put in the dust, Let's say he's merciful as well as just. He will return and make up all our losses and smile again after our bitter crosses. Go, pretty babe, go rest with sisters twain. Among the blessed in endless joys remain.